Now, a long winning streak may guarantee you a title fight in other divisions, certainly doesn't at 170 pounds. But now, with all the contenders behind him, there is one man left standing. It is this man, the number one welterweight contender, now getting his shot at the dominant champion. And he believes, without a shadow of a doubt, that he is the best 170 in the world. And he is out to prove it right here, right now. for this welterweight championship fight. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters. Some differences in height and reach as well. Let's get it started. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the Honda Center in Anaheim, California. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Welterweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 146 pounds. Presenting the challenger, Assassin. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of. 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC welterweight champion of the world, Habib the Eagle, Imago Mena. All right, this is for the championship. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it a fight. Few guys in this division can grapple as effectively as he can, but maybe some pause tonight given the Brazilian Jiu Jitsu black belt on the other side. Yes, and he may use his grappling in reverse to stay upright because this Jiu Jitsu fighter is such a great fighter. He's such a fantastic fighter. He's so skilled, he's so tricky, and he's so good at weaving a web that gets you lost in it. That standing may be this grappler's best chance to win the fight. Nice loop and punch. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Right hand upstairs. Quite find that range. He's 
throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Both guys throwing potential fight enders here in the early going. Nice punch, man, over the top. Nice right punch followed by a left. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, look at him land another jab there. He's certainly using that weapon effectively here tonight. The most effective weapon in all of boxing, in all of combat sports, is a jab. This young man has a knowledge of using it like no one else. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. Beautiful body. Got clip with the right hand. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Yeah. Oh, man, head kick land. And both guys really throwing with authority. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. And they separate. Yeah. That shot blocked by Nermago Meta. I mean, he's cutting them down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. All right, so he continues to land that patented jab and keeping his opponent at bay. You can know that it's coming, but until you're in there with him, the speed and the power of that jab is something you can't really prepare for. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Nice straight punch. Checks the leg kick. Under two minutes to go now in our opening round. Oh, nice land there by Nermago Manov. When he made his UFC debut in 2012, he wasn't striking like that. No, he did not look like this, and that's a credit to his coaches, not only at the American Kickboxing Academy, but at Eagles MMA over in Dagestan. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. He loaded up there on that high kick. Nice punch there. A oh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all these coming strikes. Just misses there with the left. Big kick. Under a minute to go in the round. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Oh, setting up the left hook, but out of range. Right hand on point. Leg kick. Oh, big punch land. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do. So we cross the 30-second mark in our opening round. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Punch is blocked. 15 seconds. Ooh, what a punch. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. So we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. All right, round two is now upon us. Pretty competitive first five minutes, I thought. It's exactly what we expected. We expected when we saw this on the match sheet that these two guys would even be matched. Let's see who really takes control as we go into the second round. Oh, and another leg kick lands flush, and now you're starting to see visible damage on that lead leg of his opponents. Visible damage, and you see him starting to make mistakes now in his defenses because his leg is so beat up. It's red, 
It's all beat up, he's limping, he's turning away. There are so many things that he is doing wrong now because of the leg damage he has taken. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Big kick lands. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Right hand upstairs. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Good series of strikes for him there. Staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. And he landed the right hand there. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Nurmago Medov gets touched by that kick there. Oh, that right hand is on point. Just misses with the punch by Nurmago Medov. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing, Mustafa. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Watch knees to the body. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high. Blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Nurmago Medov gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can rally. Man, look at that damage on the right side of his body. Starting to really bruise now. Oh, and another leg kick lands flush. And the best fighters in the world are those who make adjustments. He hasn't made many so far. Yes, he needs to make adjustments. So, one thing you can do is close the distance. Don't give him space to leg kick him over and over again. Get close. Fight from the clinch. Take that leg kick away by managing the distance. Nurmago Medov gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Just missed with the left there. Mago Medov gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Big head Back kick. and forth we go. Sound defense there as he blocks the shot. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Head kick lands. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Big kick lands. Oh, massive kick. Didn't see that one coming. Liver kick. If you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. Oh, big left hand there. Nermago Medov gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Ten minutes in the books. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC. And if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, man, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, 
and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. All right, so back-to-back -back entertaining rounds. We'll see how it goes in this round. We'll see which corner sort of maximized those 60 seconds on the street. This is what happens in two very skilled, very easy to match fighters coming together. Nobody has really taken a lead in this fight. Let's see who does it going into the next round. Oh, strong punch there by Nermago Meta. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Well, you don't want to say Khabib has fallen in love with his striking, but he certainly is boxing more than he did early on in his UFC career. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Oh, nice right hand. Nurmagomedov going for the body kick there, but he misses. No setup whatsoever there. That's a big strike right there. Nice leg kick. It's messed up really bad. Oh, lands another shot to the body. Beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. I mean, look at the commitment to kick it in this fight. Big leg kick lands. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really driving his shin into his opponent's thigh. Beating his leg up. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he going to do to follow up? Flush with that right hand. That strike blocked by Nermago Medov. Oh, that's a good right hand. Real quick leg kick. Nermago Medov's now dealing with a cheek cut. Liver kick. Cable inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night at that landed. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Beautiful point. Knee to the body. Blocked. Left hand punch to clinch. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Nermago Medov. Just out of range with the big right hand. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Cubby. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike when it's... What a job to get the head kick home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. He high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Oh, big head kick there. Whiffs on that offering. Oh, huge block! Whoa! What is oh. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. And you hear the crowd react every time they come together because they understand the power that these guys are striking with. Bone on bone as the head kick lands flush. He better get those hands up or he's gonna put him to sleep. Nice 
strike. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Lunges forward with a left air. Beautiful body kick lands oh. right under the elbow. So there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work, but he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. All right, here we go. Fourth round of a possible five. And this is the time where fighters are really tested, right? Dig deep, lean on the heart, we'll see who has the upper. You feel pretty good in round number five. Round number four is the one that really does test the fighter. It really does test the metal of the guy inside of the eye. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. Big knee to the body. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's on a great floor right now. It's a beautiful, fast, quick jab with beating. Huge block there. Big body kick. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Nermago Medov's kick to the body is blocked. Try to establish that jab. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. Hey, if you're gonna sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off uh -huh. with the uppercut, that is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. Look that offering from his opponent. In the past, we've seen him sort of lean on the toughness. Tonight, he's leaning on the defense. And you see the evolution of the fighter in front of us. He doesn't have to be tough anymore. The more he can slip strike, the longer he can prolong his career. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to throw counter after blocking shots. Nice punch land. Visibly limping here. He got the turtle in that kick. Oh, and there he goes again, working off that beautiful jab. He continues to keep his opponent at distance. I mean, keeps him at bay with that beautiful, precise jab. It is like a piston. It goes in and out, and before his opponent can even realize what hit him, he's already hitting him with another one. Right. I love, love watching this man fight because of that beautiful, educated jab. It's such a fast leg kick. Really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Effective punch there by Nemago Meta. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony. Always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. Oh, he gets back up, but barely. Look how wobbly he is. 
Oh, now he stuns him beautifully with the left hand. The left hand is so accurate. He's so educated. He's so able to fight from both fighting stances. Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. Big kick. Oh, he continues to attack that bloody cheek. His face is a mess. Oh, he gets back up, but barely. Look how wobbly he is. What a body kick. Oh, just misses with the kick. Big power shot there. Big punch land. Ooh. And there's the buzzer indicating the end of round four. All right, so that's the end of the round. Pretty significant damage done in that round. Cut on the cheek, sustained there from that strike. Now the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. Better to be below the eye than above it, sure. But nonetheless, this could be a factor now moving forward. All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent's staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. Ooh, big shot land. Punch coming, it's blocked. Just out of range with that strike. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. That was a thudding leg kick. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. And they separate. Nice body kick. Oh, beautiful straight left hand. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. Punch over the top. Oh, Superman punch is good. You can tell he's been working on that. Right at the elbow, body keeps playing. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Over and over and over. Landing these nasty body kicks. Well, he's the taller fighter and able to land a knee to the body with relative ease there. Real sneaky body kick. Connects with a right. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Nice punch by Nermago Metal. Under three minutes remain in round five. Powerful leg kick land. Right hand upstairs. Nermago Metal gets touched by that kick right to the body there. Nicely done by the opponent. Let's focus now. Oh, wicked nice leg kick there, DC. Can't take too many of those. Right hand there by your teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov, DC. You're so worried about the wrestling, and when the hands come, you're not expecting it. And Khabib lands early, and he lands off. All right, so a seven blow earlier in the round, it wasn't a knockdown, but it was certainly a stunner that caught his attention. Oh, I mean, he got hurt bad. To see him still standing, that just goes to the toughness that he has to be still standing after taking such a damaging shot. Big. Straight left. Big body kick land. Oh, nice job to get back up again. You don't want to hang out on the ground with this guy. 
Man, that cut has really opened up. 90 seconds. Oh, thunderous leg kick rounds his opponent tried to stay upright, but man, that changed the complexion of this one. John, he's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. Oh, that's a good strike there by Nermago Meta. Oh, man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming man, this way. get that out of here. He sees it coming. You're going to have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. Under one minute remains in round five. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Right, throws a straight punch and lands, so that is increasingly becoming an effective weapon for him tonight. This is one of his best strikes, and he's throwing it over and over again. Twenty seconds left. That was the end. Nice strike. Right hook to the head, one, and that's gonna do it. Goodness, what a fight. Well, it's not every day in the UFC that you see a fight ended due to a leg kick, but that one was absolutely devastating. He took away that lead leg of his opponent, who became a one-legged fighter, and then it became just a matter of time. So somewhat anticlimactic here tonight, but not for the winner, as he gets one of the bigger TKO wins of his UFC career. And there he is, folks, a man who needs no introduction, the UFC welterweight champion of the world. What a hurry of strikes it was to set up the eventual TKO. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called to stop to this contest at four minutes, 51 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by TKO and New! DC, you know what it's like to get that first UFC belt and become a champion. That is his reality here tonight in New World Order here at 170 pounds. You've watched this guy over the course of his career carry his chip on his shoulder. Now you can watch him take a breath because now you've accomplished the ultimate goal of becoming the UFC champion. Congratulations.